Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Waivers. I am going to show you today how to use uh, font glyphs in Cricut Design Space. Font glyphs are extra, often decorative characters that many font designers include with their fonts. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. If you have not already, subscribe now. I'm coming out with new videos once every probably four or five days. Just lots of things to make you a better designer, whether that be in Cricut Design Space or externally in programs like Inkscape that will help you bridge some of the design gaps that Design Space has. Uh, also, join me on Facebook. We have a fantastic group. It's about 125,000 members. It's called Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. Uh, super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable, just an all-around great group. We'd love to have you. I'll link it then in the description. Join us. So let's move this over here. We can get rid of this and get rid of these. So let me just state. Ordinarily, I would not recommend doing your font work in Design Space. There is a kerning error, which is letter spacing and alignment in Design Space. Um, I have a video that will show you how to perfect your font work and, and doing it externally in Inkscape and then saving it as an SVG and importing that into Design Space. You'll have perfect text work every time. No more ungrouping and moving and you know, hoping and trying to figure out how the font designer intended the font to look. So check that video out when you have a second. It really will improve your design skills immensely. Um, so let's move this down here. Now this font that I'm working, this is working with, this is called Fondy. This is an absolutely fantastic font. One of my absolute favorites, if not my favorite. Uh, I'll link that in the description as well. Check out that, but also check out the other fonts by the same designer. She is an absolute gem. Um, so let's get started. To locate the character map that is built into Windows, go down to your, the bottom left of your screen where it says type here to search and just start typing in character map. It'll come up. Might take a moment. Design space can be kind of slow when you're working with uh, fonts. Don't know why that is. So uh, you can see right here with my font selected that I have Vondi selected on design space. I also have Vondi selected on my character map. Anytime you go to import a glyph and you get a box with a question mark on it, that is the reason. The reason is that you do not have your fonts matching. It has to be the same both on your design program and on character map, or you will get that question mark box up. I don't mean to make my video wordy, but you're going to thank me for that someday. <laughs> One of these days you're going to type and it's going to come up a box with a question mark and you'll be like, what the heck's going on? That's what it is. So just make sure that those two match. Now with the character map up, you see it's, it says character set Unicode group by click on that, go down to Unicode sub range. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, private use characters, and these are your glyphs. Okay, so the first one we're going to switch out is we are going to switch out this Y. Okay, and the Y that I have used there is, let's get rid of this. The Y that I have used there is, is that Y? It is. So we will select that. Clicking select, click copy. Close that, double click on your text, get rid of the letter that you're replacing. You used to be able to right click and click paste. Now, since design space is switched over to desktop, that is no longer an option. Now you will need to do control B. And you can see what design space does to spaces the letters out with the glyph. Like I was telling you earlier, when you design externally, in a program like Inkscape, that doesn't happen. It will automatically populate the letters where they're supposed to be um, with with other letters that they belong with. So uh, I, don't, I don't know how else to explain that. So 
Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to switch over to the other character map, the UI one, just to show you how much better it is than the regular the character map that's built into Windows. So this is UI character map. Huge difference, right? So that's Vondi ornaments. We'll be using those in a second. So this is Vondi. And you can see how much better you can see the letters. So this, like I said, you can download this right in the Microsoft Store. It's completely free. It's called the UI Character Map. So definitely make sure you grab that. So next we need the H. And which H did I use? This is the H that I used. So click plus. And then the two double papers next to it. And go to the H and get rid of that. And then control V. We'll fix all this in a second with the letter spacing. So, and then the M is the next one. So that's the M I used plus. Get rid of that M. Control V. Okay, so now that is all of our letters. No, I didn't do the T yet. So the T that I used, let's see here. That T? Yep, that T. Okay, so plus, and then that, and then control V. Now that is all of our letters. Okay, so now. Let's take this and make it a little bit smaller so it's easier to deal with. So this is the hassle of doing your text work in Cricut Design Space. So now, now we have a bunch of letters that are not at all how they belong together, right? So what we can try to do is we can try to decrease the letter spacing and that will help some. But then what we need to do is with it selected, we need to go to advanced and ungroup to letters. And we need to manually move each of these letters best of our ability where they belong. I honestly cannot recommend any more strongly to go and watch the video immediately after watching this on how to do text work externally. The difference in your text work and the difference in um, the time that it takes and just all around, it will make you a better designer. I hate to keep harping on it, but it is, it's significant. So that is, it's decent. So go ahead and select all of this and then we will weld that together, bottom right. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and now we are going to add in our, um, these, the ornaments. So I don't know if I mentioned it, but those, the ornaments also come with Vondi. So Vondi is two parts, it has Vondi and then it has Vondi ornaments. Uh, and then you just install both of them and they both work just like like a, a font would. So, which is convenient because you can go right into the character map and pull up all the ornaments that you want without having to open up SVG after SVG. It's just all right there as a font. So again, what you need to do, I need to make a new text box and I need to change this. I need to change this to Vondi ornaments so that the, so that the font that I'm using in my design program matches the font in my um, character map. So Vondi ornaments, and I think I used this one. 
go plus. Control V. Control V. It's going to take a moment to come up. Grab the next one while this is populating. What is the next one? Use that and then I use this. Oh, oh, here, it came up now. So let's move this over here for now. And then we'll bring up another text box. And then we need this one. It is right here. Plus, and then the two squares. And then control V. And we need this one, we need that one. Okay. Text box, that one. Which one is that one? That one is. That's that. Plus control V. And there's just one more. We're almost out of the slow spot. Anytime I do text work in design space, it's like I feel like I'm like going back to dial up internet. Almost. Let's see, so this is the only one we still need. So give it one more moment. There we go. And there's that one. And now we just need one more. And the last one is this one right here. And control V. Okay. So I don't want to click off of it and confuse design space and make it take even longer. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait for it. And while we're sitting here and we're waiting for it, you're going to think about how you are going to go immediately after watching this video and you're going to click <laughs> that link and you're going to watch the video on how to do your text work in Inkscape and you're never going to have to deal with this again. Yes, I'm sure it's close. And then this last part will be super easy. And anyways, you can see at this point how it all works. Um, glyphs are very easy to work with. And it really, I mean, it just makes such a huge difference on what you can get. I can't tell you before I knew about glyphs how many fonts I bought that looked all pretty on the screen. And, you know, on the promo images. And I, you know, installed them and I was all excited to use them. And then I typed them out and they were boring. And I was like, what is going on? So that is what is going on. So with that selected, click flip. Flip horizontal. And oh, actually, that one I also need to flip vertical. And I think I actually have it a little bit smaller than that. Maybe not. And that one I put right about right there. Close. And then this one I did two of. So make that a little bit bigger. And then Duplicate it and flip it. It's just about the right size. I actually should have made those a little bit 
That's a little bit bigger. It's just a little bit bigger. Oops. And then take that and put that one right there. And again, you can see that. So this is the way I'm doing it, but you can already see that, you know, there's any number of ways that you can do this for yourself. You can, you know, play around with them and make them the way that you think that they would look good. Sorry, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, so take that, duplicate it. Duplicate is on the upper right. And then you're going to flip that. And these, so I put one there. These actually should be a little bit smaller. Put one here. And I put one over here. And then this, make a little bit smaller. And that I flipped. What did I do with that? Flipped that like that. And that is right there. And that's it. And that is literally all there is to it. Um, so that is how you use Vondi and Vondi ornaments. And then so what you would now do, select all of this. Weld it all together. And that's it. That I mean, that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them um, in, you know, in, underneath the video. Um, or join, join our group and ask there. I'm always willing to help. So that's it. Have a good day. Bye.